Hey everyone, before we get into today's video, I want to remind you to enter our Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition giveaway. To enter, all you need to do is like this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon. Gets you one entry and we will announce the winner through a community post at the end of the month. Today is it, folks. Today is the day that I have been waiting for anxiously for months. And that is because Nintendo has released their financial results for the full fiscal year, including obviously this last quarter. And that means we have some Animal Crossing sales data. Now we have two different numbers. There is the number that they're officially listing on their website, their sales data website, which is the 11 day total through the fiscal year. Then they also published a six week total as well. However, these aren't considered finalized numbers because because there hasn't, you know, they basically didn't fully tabulate everything. It's probably a little bit higher, uh, and we won't get a full update again for another three months. But uh, here's the crazy thing: the 11-day total was 11.77 million. That is the official total through the end of the fiscal year for Animal Crossing: New Horizons. Now there is also a total you are now seeing on this chart for the first six weeks, and that shows 13.41 million units sold and the interesting thing here is this now makes animal crossing new horizons the most popular game in animal crossing history it has sold more than any game before it and as you're seeing with the six week totals it has skyrocketed past the six week totals for the two previous most popular entries in the series both on the ds and 3ds uh so crazy numbers for animal crossing i think we all knew the numbers were going to be absolutely insane it's already one of the best selling games on switch easily in the top 10 firmly in the top 10 uh, and who knows where it's going to stop. Now, we have a whole bunch of numbers uh, beyond that to look at, uh, and including Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is still the top-selling game on, on Switch at 24.77 million units. Maybe that doesn't surprise anyone, but this does make Mario Kart 8 Deluxe the second best-selling Mario Kart game of all time. This officially passes the numbers it did on DS. So, yeah. The only one that's behind now is Wii, and uh, who knows how you know if it'll catch up to that. Um, beyond that, we have Smash Bros. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate at 18.84 million. Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey are both at 17.41 million. Kind of interesting. The numbers are that close that they're exactly the same. Pokemon Sword and Shield, for those wanting an update on that, is now at 17.37 million, uh, and that means that it has officially passed Diamond and Pearl. Uh, it's on pace to actually be the second best-selling Pokemon game of all time, behind obviously the Gen 1 games. Uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee is right behind that with 11.97 million. Probably will hit 12 million at some point here. Uh, Splatoon 2 is at 10.13 million. It is now officially a 10 million seller. There is no doubt how popular that, that IP is now. Super Mario Party as well is another 10 million seller at 10.10. And that might be shocking to some people. We haven't seen a Mario Party game sell like this maybe ever. I think it's the best selling Mario Party game we've ever seen. So crazy. Uh, and rounding out their top 10 software right now is new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe at 6.6 .6 million. So even that's doing really well, especially compared to the Wii U one, considering it's just a port. And what's interesting about all this is that makes nine titles. That's right. Nine titles on switch have passed 10 million in sales to put this in perspective and this is this is just crazy i had to look this up zero games on wii u sold over 10 million not even one uh only seven games sold over 10 million on 3ds only nine games on wii so it's right there with wii and 11 games on the ds did this feat so it could potentially pass wii and ds before it's all said and done and i keep thinking what else could they release that's going to sell over 10 million well another zelda game perhaps um, you know, the sequel, the breath of the wild could, could possibly, I mean, it sold the original sold 17. Is it that hard to think that the sequel is going to sell over 10, which would be the second best selling Zelda game of all time. Um, is it crazy to think another Mario game could do that? I don't think so. Uh, and this is before we consider what if they release a Mario Kart nine, what's that going to do? Um, so there's possibilities out there for Nintendo to get past it. And this is assuming they can't somehow hit the jackpot with another new IP or something, you know, like a Splatoon, uh, and just dominate you know, who really knows what's going to happen nintendo has so many big selling franchises that it's insane to me to think that these are the numbers we're seeing out there and that switch is essentially right now the most popular platform since the 
DS. Yes, I'm saying since the DS. I'm not even going Wii. I'm going, I want the Nintendo's most popular system they have ever released. And why is that? Well, we have updated sales numbers for the Switch itself. Um, the OG Switch or the original model, the, the, the fat one that sits on your TV uh, and can do TV mode or portable. That one with the Joy-Cons has sold 2.27 million units this last fiscal quarter, whereas the uh, light version has sold 1.02 million, giving you a total of 3.29 million for the fiscal quarter. And that puts us up to 21.03 million units sold in the past fiscal year for Nintendo. Uh, that moves the total number of Switches up to 55.77 million. Or in other words, if you take the Nintendo GameCube and the Nintendo 64, and add the sales of those two systems together, Switch has surpassed the combined sales of both. Um, what's interesting here um, is that their current projections for this fiscal year are, are lower than last year. They had 20 million last year. This year, they're at 19.5 mil projected, could surpass that, could fall under. I guess it's hard to predict everything with the worldwide pandemic right now. Uh, they have 140 million software projected uh, as well for this upcoming year. Uh, again, these are really hard projections to make right now based on uh, anything other than data from the prior years when we weren't having issues. Uh, Nintendo is in an interesting place here with Switch because as you're seeing on a couple charts here, which you know credits a reset era where I got these from, uh, Nintendo Switch's momentum is unlike their most popular platforms in the past. Nintendo Switch which is momentum is um, peaking later than it did with other platforms and doesn't appear like it's going to have the big fall off that other platforms have had as well. Whereas if this was the peak year of 21 million, 19.5 million is not a huge fall off in comparison to the fall off years of Wii, DS, 3DS, etc. So Switch is actually doing quite well in terms of its sales momentum and potentially could become Nintendo's um, second best selling, I don't know if I quite want to go all the way to say it's going to sell 150 million units because that's 100 million units more than it's sold now, but I think it easily could surpass the Wii totals at this point. Uh, if it can maintain this momentum for at least another couple years, uh, so it could surpass Wii, um, potentially surpass PlayStation 4, pass uh, PlayStation 3 for sure, um, maybe PS1 as well. I think PS2 and DS are going to be like those untouchable numbers that nothing's ever going to get back up to as far as I'm concerned, but you never know. Uh, clearly Nintendo has a hit here. And it's not just to me that it's a, like this mega system seller, like it's just selling oodles of units. It's the amount of software moving as well. It's moving in an insane amount of software that Nintendo's never seen, honestly, if we're looking at the history of the company. And speaking of things we've never seen, um, there was this uh, data analysis researcher on, on uh, Twitter that came out and said that Nintendo has um, increased their spending in the research and development to 33 billion yen. To put this in perspective, that is the most Nintendo has invested in the research and development in the history of the company. Um, so clearly, Nintendo isn't just resting on their laurels. They are working on something. I don't know what. We don't know. Research and development is a really wide net for Nintendo. Yes, that covers new hardware, but that also covers movies. That also covers um, theme park development. That covers basically anything Nintendo is doing that is not out yet. Um, and in terms of, um, not in terms of software, but in terms of uh, hardware or uh, new initiatives into other fields. And uh, Nintendo is investing a ton. So does this mean they're preparing for that next generation switch? Does this mean they're preparing for um, uh, you know an upgrade plan, an upgrade scheme? Um, where, whether you're going Switch Pro, Switch 2, it's gonna be more like an iPhone upgrade plan where not every single thing is a new generational leap. Uh, it, it'll be interesting to see what they're doing with that. And obviously for those that are hoping for news on new hardware, this is probably the closest you're gonna get to official news that Nintendo's working on something because they're putting more money than they've ever put in the history of the company into research and development. They wouldn't be doing that if there's not some something uh, being planned. Uh, you would figure, you know, if they're investing that much, are they trying to rush something to market? I don't know if they're trying to rush anything because of the new generation systems coming out. I certainly don't think we're seeing a new Switch at this point this year. I think any shot of the Switch Pro this year um, is gone due to the pandemic and Nintendo's inability to even keep up with current demand, let alone making a new system. Uh, but I do think that doesn't mean that next year isn't a potential year for a new gen Switch or an upgraded Switch of some type. And Nintendo might know, hey, look, once we get past this year and those next gen systems are catching up to their supply and demand, we need to have something land, whether it's in the spring, the summer, the fall, whatever. We need to get people excited and talking about Switch hardware again. And uh, so hopefully they have something in the works for that. Of course, Nintendo could be doing something crazy and nothing ever 
whatever comes of this, because just because Nintendo's spending a lot of money in the research and development doesn't mean that we're going to get anything out of it um, or anything that seems like they spent a lot of money because a lot of ideas, a lot of things get made and scrapped. There's a billion patents out there for Nintendo that never became products. Uh, so we'll just have to hold on to our butt cheeks and see what happens. But what I do know is this is a lot of data, a lot of information, and I'm really excited. Nintendo is in a good place. Nintendo is healthier um, as a company than they've pretty much ever been beyond the Wii and DS era. We can't ignore the Wii and DS era because when I talked about, you know, the number of 10 million selling games, Nintendo was having all those 10 million selling games, like the, the 7 on Wii, the, the 11 on um, the, yes, I'm sorry, the 9 on Wii and the 11. So the 20 plus uh, 10 million titles that they had had were happened at the same time. So Nintendo was clearly more successful as a company during the Wii and DS era where they sold 250 million units of hardware. Uh, Switch can't compete with that. So no doubt that even though Switch is skyrocketing right now, it can't compete at Nintendo's absolute best. But is it better than what they were doing with 3DS and Wii U? Absolutely. Is it better than they were doing with NES and Game Boy? No, well, I don't know. It, right, the current pace right now has it on pace with, with combining NES and Game Boy together. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens long haul here. But Nintendo is in a very, very good place right now. And this is while they're opening or will be opening up a theme park. I'm sure there's some delays with that now in Japan and then eventually down in Universal Studios in Florida. Uh, this is while Nintendo is the Mario movie in the works, which should be pretty decent. Uh, it's being made by at least a, a team that has successful movies, you know, Basically, a lot of moviegoers going out there. Obviously, the Sonic movie ended up being better than people expected. So maybe that sets the Mario movie up you know, for, for better expectations and, and bigger crowds. Who knows? Mario sh should get bigger crowds. It's bigger than, than Sonic. I think we all know that. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um, I'm pretty stoked uh, in general for the future of Nintendo. And uh, that's saying something because today, um, literally, like probably minutes after this video goes up, is a new Inside Xbox, which I hope to be live streaming. We shall see. Um, there's a lot going on today. Uh, if not, I'll at least react to the news after the fact. And that Inside Xbox is going to be showing off a bunch of a bunch of games, all of which that will be on the Xbox Series X. So we're going to see some next gen stuff today, uh, even though that stuff is going to be games that are still going to come to current gen, but going to be enhanced on Xbox Series X. We at least get to see enhanced gameplay uh, beyond Gears of War 5. So um, it's going to be nice. Um, we have a big day of news today, and it starts with Nintendo just crushing it in terms of sales. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jans from Nintendo Prime. Be sure to enter our Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition giveaway by liking this video, commenting down below, subscribing to the channel, hitting that bell icon. <sighs> I got to get editing this video, guys, because we got that inside Xbox I got to cover, uh, if not live, at least after the fact. Uh, so see you guys in another video later today.